Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at the following second order ODE and in particular we're asked to solve it for the unknown function y. Now how do we do it? Well firstly notice that our second order ODE is linear and has constant coefficients. In this case we can reduce the analysis down to solving a quadratic equation. That's the basic idea. So, we find and analyze the roots of the following the following quadratic equation okay and the quadratic equation is determined from the coefficients in here from our ordinary differential equation okay so this is it now this is known as a characteristic equation of our ordinary differential equation okay okay so I'm going to call this equation one If we factorize one, we obtain the following. All right, what we've got okay, so here we factorized, and we can solve now for the roots. The roots are going to be minus 3 and positive 2 okay so now we get to the second part we found the roots now we analyze them okay we see that they're both real numbers and they're not equal to each other So our roots are real and unequal. Okay, that's important because in this particular case, there's a special form of the solution to our problem. Okay, and this is the following form. Okay, here the big A and big B are just arbitrary constants. The lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the roots. And um, this is known as the general solution. Okay, so all we do now is fill in the lambda 1 and lambda 2 with either root. It doesn't matter which way you put them in. And this is the general form of the solution to our original problem. Now, if the roots were, say, real and equal, then this would not apply anymore. There would be another um, form of the solution. And also, if the roots were complex valued, well, um, again, this is, is not the best way to go. So uh, very simple, um, just reducing the analysis down to solving a quadratic.